Hey everyone, how's it going? It's James and I have a video for you today about using HubSpot and Zoom Info's websites cohesively to track website visitors for your sales program. So the first thing I want to show you is the integrations menu and more so filtering in the admin portal in Zoom Info and you can navigate to here by just clicking the nine dots in the top right and selecting admin portal. But since I'm already there, no action required, but the best thing about HubSpot and Zoom Info, and I should say other CRMs, though this video is mainly for HubSpot and Zoom Info, but the methodology I will show you will apply to other CRMs such as Salesforce and Zoho. So the beauty about Zoom Info and HubSpot is that not only can Zoom Info send data to HubSpot, but HubSpot can also send data back to Zoom Info. So this is the dual sync and you can find everything about that within this part of the admin portal. So the first thing I would recommend doing is coming in here and making sure that everything is set up correctly. And you should see these kind of date of last match um, buttons here for company and contact records. You're just gonna wanna refresh those before you do anything, just to refresh the sync. So if you're ever having any issues, I would highly recommend coming in here first. Okay, so now that I've shown off the integration screen and you know a little bit about that, we're gonna come over to the website screen. And you can navigate to here uh, in the top nav menu just over from advanced search and intent. So under websites, I just have all the companies that came through our website uh, over the past week. And before I go any further, if you have any questions about getting websites set up, we have filmed other videos about that, which you can find in the LinkedIn group. And we'd also be happy to answer any questions. So from here, you can see in the past week, there's been 155 companies that have come through our website. You may have more or less volume, but what I would recommend doing is filtering uh, using signals correlated with intent uh, for purchasing and being in market. So the two I'd like to talk about just above my face here are unique visitors and then also page views. So unique visitors is how many different people from the same company checked out your website. And then page views is how many different page pages were viewed um, by those visitors. So if we just look in the log over here, you can see, um, for example, this company here, Equinix, one unique visitor viewed five pages and more so Google with their crawling had four unique visitors and they viewed 10 pages. And then also you have the session duration here, but uh, that's not as important for what we're doing. So with 155 companies, that's a lot to look at. So I wanna narrow this down to those that had multiple people from the same company checking out our site. That's more correlated uh, with being in market for our service. So I'm just gonna throw in two as the minimum for unique visitors and apply that filter. So once that loads, we can see our record count here is gonna be much lower. So we went from 155 to 17. This is a great place to start and a more reasonable amount of volume for one of your sale reps to work through. So now once you get to this stage, this is where I wanna work in uh, the power of HubSpot and Zoom Info's dual sync. So I just wanna open up all of these companies in search, and I'm gonna do so by selecting the drop down up here, selecting all, and then opening in search. Just wait for that to load. I will be right back. Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now you can see we have our list of 17 companies with two unique visitors who viewed our website in the past week. And one thing you might notice is that you're starting to see HubSpot icons appear next to these companies. So this is just letting us know which companies already exist in HubSpot and we might already be working in our sales program. So a good place to start when targeting companies is filtering for the companies already in HubSpot, meaning 
Uh, we've seen them before and they're familiar to us and they might already um, have other connection points within the sales funnel. So I'm just going to select this so that we can see only the companies already in HubSpot. Perfect. I'll move back over. All right, so for this example, let's just use Google. Um, so yeah, for this example, I'm gonna assume Google is a prospect that I've already been working in the HubSpot. They might've received a couple emails, a couple phone calls, and now they've come back and checked out our website. So now to further drill it down on them, I'm just gonna click into their company record. Perfect. All right, and now I wanna check out what pages they have visited because that could be a correlation for intent as well. Perfect. So it by default, it shows you the past 24 hours, but I highly recommend putting this out to the maximum of three months just so that you can get a complete picture of the story with your prospects here. So over the past three months, you can see 24 unique visits, 47 page views, uh, et cetera. And then over here on the right is a log uh, in descending order of which pages were viewed. Come back, there we go. All right. So at the top, they just viewed our homepage and then they go through all of the blogs and so on. Now, for example, if in if in here with one of your prospects, you saw they might have checked out your About Us page or your Meet the Team page or pricing information, uh, whatever in the past you found has worked best for converting a sale would be a good place to start. So if Google had checked out our Meet the Team page, which we think is correlated with a sale, then this would be a high priority contact for you to reach back out to and continue the sales progress. So. You can use kind of websites and the information HubSpot relays back and forth to set priorities for your sales team and how to tell who is more in market than others and where to spend your time. So I hope that tutorial was helpful. And of course, if you don't use HubSpot, the methodology is the same and you can see icons for other CRMs uh, in the same way I did. So hopefully that helped. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or ask me directly. So anyways, have a good one.